<laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> huh? Oh. Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Kyle Raymond, and this is Some Gen News. We here at SJN are so thrilled to have you with us. Last week, we sent a request to the world to share their best gen news, and boy, did the world deliver. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Happy birthday, Jen. Sending you lots of good wishes today from Kansas. Happy birthday, Jen! We love you and we miss you. Happy birthday, Jen! Happy birthday, Jennifer. We hope you have a great celebration. We love you. Happy birthday. Hey, from Atlanta. It's Style here, Steph and Kyle. Just uh, wanted to wish you happy birthday. Hope you have a fabulous day. Bye, I love you. Happy birthday, Jen. Sending you lots of love today. Um, just appreciate you a lot. I always love our chats, um, whether it's in person over fancy food and drinks or just on the phone. Um, hope you have such a great day celebrating and I'm sending you a classic Jen Lauren hug through the phone. Love ya. Mwah. Now, I'm no detective, but I think I'm picking up on a theme. I can't quite put my finger on it. Hey Jen, this is Cam, Mandy, and the kids. We hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, Jennifer! Happy 40th birthday, Jen. We love you. I can't wait to celebrate your birthday with you. I really wish COVID was over so we could be at your house. Do you guys want to say... I think you give really good hugs. You give really good hugs. Amos, what's one of your favorite things about Jen? That she sings good songs and gives good hugs. Any final thoughts, guys? Why, yes, this week's SJN episode is a full-blown Jennifer Knapp birthday extravaganza. We are thrilled to bring you the best Jen Knapp birthday wishes from around the world. From friends and family, with jokes, poems, and skits, with songs on your lips, and love in your hearts, you delivered. Kyle? Pardon me, folks. Looks like we have a weather update from our brilliant weather correspondent, Craig Raymond. Uh, let's go to the weather desk for a quick update. Thanks, Kyle. As you know, we here at SJN not only bring you the freshest, best news, but we also bring you the weather. And today's weather is sunshine and COVID-19. As a few of you might be aware, COVID-19 has had an enormous impact everywhere on the globe. Here with a message of birthday wishes and COVID-19 best practices, Kevin and Dixie Knapp. Happy birthday, Jennifer. Because the CDC categorizes us in a special group, we have advice for you. Our first bit of advice is wash your hands frequently. Now, in order to accomplish this correctly, you need to have soap and water, and you need to do it for at least 20 seconds. So, one way to do that is to sing happy birthday all the way through twice. Happy birthday to you. Happy it's also important to remember, don't touch your face. While you're working at your desk, you don't want your fingers to go to your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. It's also important to note that even though you may be feeling well, you may be asymptomatic. 
So for the protection of others, especially those of us in the special CDC category, remember when you go outside, you must wear a mask if you're gonna be within six feet of yes. anyone. Wear a face mask for sure, but consider what you're wearing. We ladies have to coordinate with this a little bit. So even though 2020 is the year of the coronavirus, next year you'll get a real party. Happy birthday to our niece Jennifer, the true social butterfly. Woohoo! Yes, folks, as you celebrate Jen's birthday, please remember to wash your hands. Like these fine folks with clean hands and covered heads. Next up, wild hats, vibrating heads, and glorious ears. Jen, we are all ready for your fancy 40. Sorry we can't celebrate with you, but we're having a party here and look forward to celebrating with you soon. Hope you have a great birthday. See you soon. Happy birthday, Jen. Hope it's a fiesta. Great to celebrate the day with you. Love you guys. Happy birthday. Hi, Jen. Just want to wish you a very happy birthday. Can you believe you're 40? I can't. Girl, you make 40 look amazing. Uh, I was going to wear this happy birthday hat, uh, but I feel as it kept breaking. So apparently they're made for kids or my head has gotten really big. So anyway, wearing that in spirit for you. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jennifer. Happy birthday to you. We hope you have a great day. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jennifer. Jen. We love you. We miss you. Hope you have a best day. Can't wait to celebrate with you in real life. Hope you have a special day today. Love you. Take care. To the best corn jerker we know. During this time of quarantine, we wish you a very right. happy, happy birthday. birthday. Breaking weather report! Two intrepid mountaineers have issued the following report at altitude. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jen! Jen. We're ready to climb South Sister with you. We have our boots and our packs on, and we're going to do a little main training session in our backyard to prepare. Here we go. She's ready. Whoa. Anyway, we hope we're having a great day and can't wait to celebrate with you. Happy birthday. Before we ascend even greater heights of SJN birthday wishes, we need to pause and provide our viewers a little context. Let's turn now to Sam and Jenny with an illuminating history lesson. Hi, Jen. We are doing some research into things that happened in 1980 and we thought you might be interested in hearing what we learned. Number one, sloppy joes and pasta salad are the number one food in America. Number two, Mount St. Helens erupted. Number three, parachute pants and fingerless gloves are all the rage. Number four, I believe, uh, Nine to Five starring Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, and Dolly Parton re was released and was very popular. And Blues Brothers was the most watched movie that year. Uh, number five. <laughs> Something. McDonald's began to test market the Chicken McNugget. Ooh, that worked out for them. Uh, Post-it notes were invented. The Pac-Man Arcade was released. And the Rubik's Cube was introduced for the first time. Number seven. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Ryan Gosling and Kim Kardashian were all born. And in 1980, the U.S. Olympic hockey team defeated the Soviet Union in the semifinals of the Winter Olympics. Do you believe in miracles? The most important thing that happened in 1980 is that you were born. Jen was Happy born! Happy birthday! Happy Happy birthday, Happy Jen. birthday, Jen! We love you. We're so excited for you. We're happy to celebrate with you. <laughs>
we know it's a little bit of a weird time to be celebrating your birthday, but we have all year to celebrate. We'll just make sure that the celebrations go on, um, you know, for, for a long time. Cause like, why wouldn't they? We're incredibly proud to know you. Congratulations. We'll see you soon. Here at SJN, we make it a point to celebrate Jennifer Knapp's birthday year round. It just makes sense. It's what you do. So here are a few more birthday wishes that provide wisdom from those with wisdom to give. Hey, Jen. Hey, happy Jen. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 40th birthday. Wow. 40th birthday. That's pretty impressive. Well, Jen, on your 40th birthday, we have three things for you. We have a revelation. We have a scientific fact. And we have a word of wisdom. All right. Let's start with the revelation. Inside, every older person is a younger person wondering... It's true. Now for the scientific fact. Birthdays are good for you. Statistics show that people who have the most birthdays live the longest. Okay, let's end with that word of wisdom. Forget about the past. Because you can't change it. Forget about the future. Because you can't predict it. Forget about the present. Because we didn't get you one. Just yes, kidding. We, did. we we got your birthday present. Love you, Jen. Love you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Wish we could be with you. Absolutely. Love ya. Hey Jen. So here we find ourselves making a video for you for your birthday. And I know that I'm an introvert. So opposite of you. And you this must be killing you to to not have people around to celebrate with you. Uh, and we just really want to be there with you and we we miss you so much and we know that this is a big one 40 tell us how that goes because uh you know you're a little ahead of us but uh but not by much not by just much. slightly ahead of us you are 40 years young we love you i personally appreciate how you just shine your light everywhere you go and everywhere you enter you're so energetic and happy and kind and generous and great hugs so like our whole family the first thing we all said was like oh we love her hugs she's so great <laughs> so um yeah we're sad that we can't be with you today but we will celebrate with you very soon um, we're really looking forward to that day and happy 40th happy birthday. Happy 40th birthday. <laughs> we love you. Love you. Hi, Jen. Happy birthday, Jen. May your day be filled with sunshine and blue skies and flowers and a big fat chocolate chip cookie with no chocolate chips. <laughs> and I have some advice for you. This is the year when you stop putting the right number of candles on your cake. <laughs> Hey, Jen, happy birthday, happy 40th. You're not 40, you're really 39.95 plus shipping and handling. 40 is not over the hill, it's not even to the top of the hill. It's actually uphill from here. If you don't believe us, try running up an actual hill. They say life begins at 40, but so do fallen arches, rheumatism, faulty eyesight, and this tendency to tell a story to the same person three or four times. Those are not gray hairs that you see. They are strands of birthday glitter growing out of your head. So happy birthday, Jennifer. We hope the next 40 are as good as the last 40 for you. <laughs> see ya. With artistic expressions of our love and appreciation for the marvelous, fantastic, delightful Jennifer Knapp, we turn now to our cultural correspondent, Jackie, with more creative SJF videos. That's some Gen fans, for those in the know. Over to you, Jackie. Some people sing, some people dance, and some people take bananas to gallery walls. Art is a bridge between thought and emotion, between people, no matter how different they are. From all corners of the world, you sent songs that echoed one refrain. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Iowa. Yeah. Woo! Take five. Take five. J E W N I F E R spells Jennifer. Jennifer. She's our amazing sis. Filling us with bliss. J E double N I F E R U C. She's our sis who we miss so remotely. Here's our kiss. It's Jennifer for me. J E double N I F E R spells Jennifer. She gives us so much laughter. But sometimes couldn't be dafter. J E double N I F E R U C. Hear her groan, lost her phone, it's probably on loan to the porta potty. J E double N I F E R spells Jennifer. She's quite an amazing auntie. Mean and nasty can't be. J E double N I F E R U C. Games galore, not a bore. They're always asking for more. That Dolly and Z, J E double N I F E R spells Jennifer. Jennifer, truly a heart of gold. But turns out she's kind of old. J E double N I F E R U C. Hope it's great, we can't wait. Brand new skills for you await. Really celebrate for T. Love you, Jen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jen. Happy, happy day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jen. We're not too crazy, but happy birthday. We love you. Happy birthday, Jen. Happy birthday, Jen. Hope you have a great day. Precious moments, Jennifer's birthday, sent from Fountain Creek long ago. Oh, so tiny, oh, so precious, born on June 5th, 1980. Happy birthday. Poems and heartfelt prose graced your lips. Hello, Jen. Happy birthday. I'm sure, as you can imagine, I have lots of words about how I feel about you that I wanted to express. I decided to keep this short to limit myself to an acrostic poem about Jen Knapp. J is for the unbridled joy you bring to everything you do, E is for your empathy always hearing others' experiences in a way that's true. And as for navigating transitions, which is pretty much what you've been doing since we met, and as for never making a choice without thinking of our people, your purpose you never forget. I is for the immense adoration and respect I have for you. F is for figuring it all out. What is it really that we do? E is for your extraordinary selflessness, giving all you have as the decisions for the future drag longer. R is for refusing to throw your hands up, but digging in and making every single one of us stronger. K is for your knack for two things, seeing people more clearly than they see themselves and pointing them in the right direction, and making people from all walks of life feel valued and seen. No one is an exception. And as for needing to express my intense belief in you and to say, I'll be by your side till the end. 
A is for always knowing how to support and empower me as a coworker and a friend. P is for post-it notes, org charts, and beers. And the last P is for persevering, even though the future is unclear. I love you so, so much, and I hope you feel truly loved and valued today. You really deserve it. You are an incredible, incredible human, and I'm fortunate to know you and be your friend. And I really, really, really want to wrap my legs around you and squeeze you until you can't stand it for another second. I love you. Happy birthday. And I have a couple more people that want to say happy birthday to you. Say happy birthday, Happy Sadie. birthday. Say happy birthday, Sadie Booper. Say happy birthday, Aunt Jen. <laughs> happy birthday. We miss you. My friend, on this very momentous day of your birth, um, I want to read three things for you. Uh, the first comes from Common Fire, which I think you are familiar with. And I'm using to express my feelings for you. Who are my partners? No one has a vocation alone. One of our strongest findings is that whether single or married, virtually everyone spoke of the importance of partners, kindred spirits, who share and help sustain the work. They may be family members, friends, former schoolmates, professional colleagues, or members of the same religious community. Often geographically dispersed, they are linked by mail, telephone, fax, meetings, common projects, email, but most of all by a connection of heart and mind. They are the people you call or sometimes just think about when you are down, when you are up, when you are just trying to muddle through. They provide perspective, comfort, advice, challenge, and most of all, the confirmation that one is not alone in the sometimes bone-aching, heart-weary commitment to the new commons. You are that person for me. I love you so much. <sighs> and in that spirit, With this weekend's um, riots, protests, uh, white people burning things and blaming black people, uh, I found myself drawn back to an early book that I tried to force you to read and I think you actually read, um, which is impressive. Um, mainly due to my persistence. But I was brought to one of the early parts of this book in talking about what it means, what citizenship means, what it means to be a citizen. And I think there are some words in here that we need to remember. Political order is secured not only by institutions, but also by the deep rules that prescribe specific interactions among citizens in public spaces. Citizens enact what they are to each other, not only in assemblies, where they make decisions about their mutually intertwined fates, but also when as strangers they speak to one another, or don't, or otherwise respond to each other's presence. In a moment of, of total upheaval uh, in our country, I think we need to remember this point. And I just want to reinforce for you that the life that you lead is one of such enormous impact and grace and worth. Every life is worthy. You are actively, every day, choosing to bring goodness to people's lives, including my own. <sighs> so, on this day of your birth, I will also read to you several poems uh, that really 
were speaking to me um, by Mary Oliver and you know it's a it's an important birthday um, it's a good time to reflect on what a new decade brings and what the last one held and so I read to you storage when I moved from one house to another, there were many things I had no room for. What does one do? I rented a storage space and filled it. Years passed. Occasionally I went there and looked in, but nothing happened. Not a single twinge of the heart. As I grew older, the things I cared about grew fewer, but were more important. So one day I undid the lock and called the trash man. He took everything. I felt like the little donkey when his burden is finally lifted. Things! Burn them, burn them. Make a beautiful fire. More room in your heart for love, for the trees, for the birds who own nothing, the reason they can fly. <sighs> also, Another Mary Oliver poem. It's to her romantic lover, so, you know, just replace kisses with, like, gratuitous hugs. But this made me think of you. And me. I've just said something ridiculous to you, and in response, your glorious laughter. These are the days the sun is swimming back to the east, and the light on the water gleams as never it seems before. I can't remember every spring. I can't remember everything. So many years. Are the morning kisses the sweetest, or the evenings, or the in-betweens? All I know is that thank you should appear somewhere. So just in case I can't find the perfect place, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. Birthday rhythms swayed your hips. Hey Jen, as you can see, we're not in Hawaii anymore, but regardless, we wanted to send some aloha vibes your way. Happy COVID <laughs> birthday. Uh, we miss you. Uh, we hope it's filled with uh, lots of laughs. You're surrounded by good friends and lots of drinks. We miss you. We love, love you. you. Bye. <laughs> For SJN, this is Jackie, signing off. And now, Kyle, back to you. We here at SJN were overwhelmed by the creative explosion of love we received in the past few weeks. It has been an honor, a gift, to watch the videos pour in day after day. Love overflows. Here are a few more birthday wishes that we know you will find special. Happy birthday, Jen! Hope you have a really good one. I've been trying to think of what to put in your message and I can't come up with a lot of great stuff, but I sent you a picture book. So hopefully you got that and hopefully when you open it, I can we can be on a video call so I can see your reaction. Um, and I just hope you have a great day. So sorry we can't celebrate in person, but I'm glad you you got such a creative crew of your sister and your husband and your brother-in-law to kind of put everything together for you and make it an awesome birthday because I know you're craving to be with people. And I miss you bunches, sending you lots of love, love and hugs and Great wishes for your birthday. Take care. Talk to you soon. Happy birthday, you crazy cat. Uh, so fun thinking about all these memories I have with you. And um, so many of them just make me smile. The other night I was laying in bed and I started laughing because I have this random memory of coming and watching you do, well, many musicals and many show choir performances. But one music in particular where I 
I don't remember all the details. I just remember the magic. Maybe it was Cinderella and a window and maybe not making through the window or the magic didn't work. I don't know. Anyway, I was laughing in bed and I could, like, couldn't stop thinking about it. And then that got me thinking about Florida and the time you spilled gas on yourself and the time um, uh, Lucas had to go to Dairy Queen and so he just took off running because he really wanted to be there in a swimming suit. Um, and then of course all the memories of us living together and how you really like to get up and work out, which was so impressive early in the morning. Uh, a couple times it was earlier than it needed to be. And maybe you might have gotten up in the middle of the night and showered for prayer group like really early in the morning. And I, on the other hand, would just hit snooze and not do either one of those in the morning. So there's me. There's a difference between you and me, which we all know. You are my yin to my yang. Uh, always loving to be in front of people where I'd rather stay in the background. Um, but it has been so fun. Just our, how our lives have intersected. Uh, you're just... I still consider you a dearest friend and love you. Welcome to the 40s Club. It's pretty great. All the cool people are doing it. Um, love you tons and happy birthday. Hi, Jennifer. Hope you're having a great birthday. I wish I could be there with you and make you 40 cakes, but <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. So I wish you the best. I love you. Hey, Jen. Happy birthday. What a delight to be celebrating this special day with you. Your crafty, creative, clever husband sent us a note, a bunch of us, and said, please send a Jen a happy birthday wish during this time of pandemic and isolation. So I just wanted to be a part of that. So it's great to be uh, with you on your birthday. Uh, one thought I had regarding you, your birthday, and our time together is the concept of leadership and there was an author who one time wrote, may it be said of you as a leader that you are a gift to the spirit and above so many other things, that's so true of you. And I want to invite a special guest in to say happy birthday too. So we'll both wish you a happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jen. I would like to wish you, Jennifer, a happy 40th birthday. I love you so very much. And I hope for a great 40th year and many more to come. On behalf of everyone here at SJN, and on behalf of every single well-wisher, both here on the surface of Mother Earth and everywhere in our beautiful, astounding solar system, Jen, we love you to the belt and back. Happy, happy birthday. Party time? Party time for sure. Yes. Let's go find Jen.